Uh, the next one we're talking about is mean, median, mode, and range, which you guys have hopefully gotten pretty good at. Uh, I want to talk about a th an item that's related to it, but it isn't exactly it. It's called outliers. This deals with data collection. Uh, this question says, for test 7, let me run the focus again, see if that'll work. There we go. For test 7, which test score would be considered an outlier? Now, the word outlier here, sit there and watch that thing dangle. The word outlier, outlier essentially means a number that's completely ridiculous. It makes no sense, has no purpose being in the numbers, and it s makes everything else look weird. So in order to figure out which one would be an outlier, you find what the numbers are. He has 1, 100. He's got 95. He's got a 90. He made an 85. He made an 80. And he made a 75. By looking at these numbers, all of them, sorry, let me slide down just a little bit. All of these numbers are pretty, I mean, 100 is one of them, so it's probably not an outlier. Everything's pretty close to 100, more or less. 85 is right there in the middle. 70 is even pretty close. But this 50 is ridiculous. If you graphed a 50 on here for number 7, it would be right here. That dot is way away from everything else. So this is your outlier. So I never really covered outliers all that much. And I felt like I didn't want to cheat you. So there it is. There's your outliers. Now, let's talk specifically about mean, median, mode, and range. The first one we're going to look at is number 20. Marcel has a data set for which the mean is 33. Each value in the data set is multiplied by 5. What is the mean of the new data? If you have a question about mean, median, mode, and range, and they say that all of the values change by the same amount, all you have to do is the math shown. So. 33 multiplied by 5 gives you 165. That's the answer. That's if each value, all the values change, you just change the uh, data point that you're given and do whatever they say to do. So 33 times 5. No big deal for that one. On the other hand, 32 is a whole other animal in and of itself. Here's 32. 32 says... Uh, this is the number of tickets remaining in the first six rows of a theater for an upcoming event. Number, uh, it says, on the day of the concert. So this is my L1. On the day of the concert, the number of tickets remaining in row three decreases by one. So these are tickets remaining. So in row A, decrease by one. So if it goes down by one, this goes to two. So I'm going to mark that out. Uh, the number of tickets remaining in row F decreases by 3. So what became uh, 5 now goes down to 2. So somebody bought those tickets. So I did 5 minus 3, by the way, to get 2. What effects will these changes have on the mode? So everything else, by the way, that you don't fiddle with in the question stays the same. So if we're doing mode, we look for the one that popped up the most, which in this case is 1, 3, a two, two fours. So my original mode is four. My new mode, one, two, three twos, is now two. So this is the old mode. This is the new mode. So it decreased by two. So the mode decreases by two. Now, you have to be very careful. Don't say it increases by two because they change by two. You have to think, this is what it started as. This is what it became. So it actually went down by two. That's all you have to do. If you have to find median or mode, you're welcome to do them in the um, lists here. So you just go into lists. You want to clear out any of those, by the way. Oops. I got trapped. You want to delete out anything that's already in there. Somebody was really busy working with these, I suppose. And in L1, you want to put in what was originally there. So three, two, four, four, six, five. And in the other one, you go in and make your changes. They should be the same length, by the way, unless you're changing one of the values in some way, like you drop a test grade or something. And then you quit out of that menu. Don't forget to quit first. Then you get back here. Then you go into second stat. We're talking about mode. Oops, I end up hitting standard deviation. We're not talking about that. We're talking about mode of 
go back into stat menu pick out one that's the mode of that one I'm gonna go in and do the mode of L2 see it goes from 4 to 2 so it decreases that's all you have to do on those problem types your problem to work on now is number 46 if I can find it here it is we've done just about every single problem around it so why wouldn't we do this one I would feel bad for it it's the in some way deficient or something uh, the set of data includes the scores James earned on his last six math tests if the lowest score is dropped which statement is true the lowest score is dropped F the range will decrease by 10 points G the median score will increase by 2 H the median will increase by 5 or J the mean score will decrease by 3.2 so take about two minutes maybe two and a half minutes to figure that one out and see what you can do remember the lowest score is dropped 